Hi, Dave. Hey, we, what's going on, Alex? We're online, which is cool. Uh, let's wait a little bit for maybe somebody will come. If not, we'll just talk. And Don. Hi, Don. Anybody hear me? No, oh, I hear you. Oh, you hear? Okay, okay, good. Yeah, yeah, you're good. there. I, I need you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's start. Uh, more people will come, come but uh, I guess we can uh, start doing it right now. So uh, this is our first hangout. We call it uh, Studio Photography Insights. And uh, the idea is um, myself and Dave will be talking about uh, studio photography, which we both love, and uh, it's our passion. And um, it's really pretty simple. Uh, we're quite technical guys, so for me, it's very interesting how Dave uh, does particular, did particular uh, shot, and I'll be asking Dave about it, and they will do the same for me, of one of my shots. So, I guess, Dave, you'll go first, right? We're going to talk about that uh, mascara. Lanham. Oh, yeah, ab absolutely, yeah. So, let me show this shot first. Oh, I have prepared everything except the final shot. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. I need to show what we're gonna talk about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, here we are. Okay. Mike's trying to get his webcam going right now. By the way. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take care of the chat part of this. <laughs> uh, okay. I you know, I, I I remember when I first saw this shot mm -hmm. uh, that you're you're going to put up in a second here, uh, yep. and you know I'm a lighting geek. I I, ju I just love emotional lighting at its best. Um, and I yeah, there you go. Um, you know. <laughs> I always, uh, being a photographer, I guess we always focus on like one particular point in a shot that really sort of grabs us. And for me, it's that top highlight in the in in the little gel balls that you have going. Um, mm -hmm. it, it adds that wonderful sense of dimension. Um, how exactly? Uh, because I'm sure this is a fish tank shot. Um, so it was rotated 180 uh, when you were done with it. How did you get those wonderful highlights um, that we see in here? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, how, what was the setup with this, Alex? Because I've actually thought about it, and I can figure out a lot of lighting stuff. Right. Um, but this one sort of perplexed me a little bit. Uh, so you're asking about those uh, little uh, gel balls? Yeah, and yeah, the, the highlight that's right at right. the top of them, mm -hmm. that, that's curving around the top of it. Uh, it would, um, when I see that shot, I think, okay, how would I create that? And mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure how I'd create it. So, what did, what did you do for that? Okay, um, yeah, I can tell you. Uh, you know, I have um, like the whole sequence on, of events because this shot, it was. You, you you probably already know that it was kind of a um, complex shot of several different, actually, photo sessions, completely different, combined together. And uh, let me start from from the beginning, if, right. if you find, uh, because uh, so the first we did is uh, the uh, mascara shot without any water. I can show you the lighting setup and. Uh, uh, it's it's easy, right? Uh, by looking at the mascara, you see that it has those uh, highlights uh, all at the edges, right, all around. So right. it probably was two strip boxes, and the mascara was between them. But the tricky part was when I put that mascara on the table, it didn't work because uh, the bottom of the mascara starts reflecting table, even if it was small like this. Right. It was reflecting it. Uh, even though I have three boxes on the side. Let me show you. I can go again screen share. 
and uh, I can share my desktop, which will be this. So the lighting setup was like this. I put mascara on a stick because, like again, this is was on the table. You see, I didn't even clean it. Yeah, I did first shot, and I see it. It's not gonna work. Right. I put it on a, on, a, on a glass, and uh, the bottom part reflects that glass because right. it, it has that angle. Sure. There is no way I can have all around. So to do this, I put uh, it on a stick. You see it right here, right? Right. Sure. Uh, sure. Here is that stick uh, with a piece of uh, tape on it, and uh, I got two strip boxes on both sides, a little bit behind it. So it may shot like this. Well, actually like this, without any label. Right. Only two strip boxes. Then I add uh, the third one on top in front of it. And it was funny because I couldn't get the whole label and uh, that little rose uh, reflection without having, you see this, unwanted reflection. Because it's in the front, to get the reflection on the, on the label, I'm talking about this, right. I need to put something exactly on the front. So I did so. I did few shots just for label. Uh, for example, like this one, or like that one. Oh, okay, so you had a few shots to get that label working yeah, right, just and then to you label. put them together. Yeah, because you see, you have uh, we have that um, whatever they have here, high nose waterproof, right. Right. but you also see the uh, reflector behind right. it, sure. because sure. it's the same surface. There is no way you can highlight uh, wording, but not highlight the cap. Uh, and same uh, for the flower, it was uh, bottom. I, I have. Uh, reflector on the bottom. And then we combined, let's say, all these three shots. One of this, second one, let's say, with flower, and uh, third one with uh, that uh, wording. Not, maybe not exactly this, but... Right, right. So we got it, right? And then it was only one piece left, uh, because the idea was to have it, uh, well, in the water with balls jumping around. What I did, I had this pool. No, it wasn't pool. Let me show you. Maybe it's not visible here. It was the same piece of glass, black glass. I put around it uh, from left, right, and front side. Uh, you see this piece of, uh, I think it's some kind of insulation of windows, or it's like a pot putty, you know? Right, right. And uh, what I need, I, I, it, it should hold only a tiny uh, layer of water. Right, right. So that's what we did. And uh, what I need from this shot, just the bottom part. And I, I think that brings up a really cool point also. Uh, water is probably the best reflective surface out there. Right. Um, you know, you, uh, mirrors or just plexi sometimes will give you that weird double reflection. Mm -hmm. Unless you have front reflecting glass, which I don't. I, I'd love to get some of it. Um, but water, it, I, I learned that really early in my career, that, that water is this great reflective surface that is just so much fun to work with. It really is. So um, go ahead, Alex. I'm sorry. Right. I didn't no, no. Jump. Thank you. Thank you. you. You're doing a great thing because I can talk and talk about this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so yeah, that's how I got it. Uh, little layer of water, I got this shot, and then when I start throwing uh, those little balls, I'm sure if you guys know, but uh, I have this post on the blog about those gel balls. Uh, I, I can got it, I, I got it in Michael's, so it could be in any craft store, I guess. When I start throwing those balls, it appears that they're really small. You see how small they are compared right, to the... Sure. Well, I, I knew it, but <laughs> I need to see how it... So obviously it will be, I mean, we got a separate shot. And I just start throwing the balls. And now, uh, about your question, how I got those reflections. It, it was only one light source. Uh, strip box on top. 
And those gels was completely black gels, not the clear ones which I had posted before. Right. It was uh, dark black gel, uh, gel balls. So I got this uh, so a strip box the way that it's, it, it didn't do any reflection, didn't add any reflection to the water surface when it's flat, but when it gets curvy like this, you get reflection. So my, my thought process on this, that it was sort of a fish tank shot being dropped in, was wrong. This oh. is actually balls dropping straight, straight down into, uh, into a watery surface. Right, exactly. Oh, okay. Interesting. And uh, it, it's very shallow water. Yeah. You know, and that's a lot of a lot of the mistakes people make um, when they go to shoot splash stuff or anything with water. Um, they think that there needs to be a great depth to the water, but there really doesn't. The, the shallower you can get it, um, the better the splash will be, uh, because because it, it, there, there's nowhere else for the water to go but out at that point. So right. um, it took me uh, maybe three years to realize that. So. Uh, um, it, this is this is good stuff. Um, yeah. I I wish I had something like this when I was learning. That's for sure. It would have made it so much easier. Yeah, I can show you a little bit of uh, those drops, which we had. Some of them I catched uh, just in the fly. Some were, was oh, already nice bouncing right from there. the. Yeah, that's where it bounced from the glass, basically. Right. Because there is no right. way it will jump from the tank, right? Right. Sure. So you see, you can probably recognize some of them. This probably was one of the base uh, sh background shots for the composition. And I can show you. So they jump pretty cool. And uh, I purposely did uh, relatively shallow depths of field. So you'll have this nice blur when it's right. like here, some kind of blur on the ground. So let me. Stop screen share. Uh, Alex Don is asking, what is the surface again? So you were just shooting on a, uh, a black pe glass, piece of yes. plexi. Well, it's not even plexi. I got just a piece of uh, mineral glass from Home oh, okay. from construction store, right? I painted it with uh, flat black paint on one side. Okay. So, uh, it's air spray. Right. Right. So it's black and glossy from another side. I actually covered the painted side with uh, some foil, so to protect it from scratches. And I got perfect black, like glass. But uh, what is not good about it, because of the glass, it gets double double reflection. You they probably know about it, right? Right. Uh, the double reflection. But when you put uh, add some water, there is no double reflection because water is mirror itself. Right. Um, got a couple other questions here. Um, Greg's asking, how is the shutter being triggered with the dropping of the balls? Uh, manually. I yeah. don't use any device. I just have this, have shutter, boom. And probably years of experience, you know, I'm catching it like this. I have no problem catching when ball balls drops and mm -hmm. or it jumps up, plus minus few milliseconds, but it, it's easier for me to catch. Well, so. you know, I practiced for a long time, like taking a ping pong ball and mm -hmm. dropping it with one hand and clicking the shutter with the other. I don't want to even admit how many shutter clicks I did with that, just practicing mm -hmm. it to get that timing down, because yeah. I've used triggers, and triggers are a pain in the butt. They, they'll trigger too early when they hear an, a, a sound in the background. Mm -hmm. um, they'll trigger when they hear the first sound, but if I drop something incorrectly, um, I can make up for it in my brain, but a trigger won't. It will hear the sound that it hears. So mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of you know using your left hand and your right hand in your brain and working them all together. If you practice it, it will come out great. Uh, it really will. Mm -hmm. um, Don asked another question for you. Mm -hmm. uh, could you use mm -hmm. plexiglass for this effect? Oh, yes, definitely. It can be any surface because we put water on top of it. It basically doesn't matter what's underneath it. It just should be flat surface. Uh, well, flat with a proof surface. Right. That's it. Right. Um, you know, I, I was um, uh, I, I was reading your page earlier and mm -hmm. looking at some of the questions that were going to be asked of us. Um, 
uh, you know, from people who couldn't be here during right. during the time. And uh, one of, one of the people asked, "How much post processing uh, do do we do? You mm -hmm. and I." Um, and I think you and I are uh, radically different on that, um, only because uh, you know you and and your wife know Photoshop so well, and I'm no, an absolute not, not dork. me. Not no, me. <laughs> <laughs> my wife. It, it's all her. Yep, it's all. Okay. Well, I I know pretty basic stuff. I I can't say that I know Photoshop. It's yeah, and and work. I do absolutely basic stuff. Uh, I've tried. Uh, to delve into it. Somebody just joined our group here, Lisa Sweet, and she is just brilliant with Photoshop and all that stuff. Um, but uh, uh, me, I can sort of fumble through. Um, but I, I think what's great is um, that 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 you know we're together. You know, Genia does this amazing stuff, and I couldn't touch it to save my life. But we both come up with some pretty cool effects. Um, and it works, and it just goes to show that whether you use Photoshop, you don't use Photoshop, you have studio lights, you don't have studio lights, it just doesn't matter. Uh, when, when you have uh, uh, some knowledge and a desire to go after it, um, you'll get it. It, it, just, it just is the amount of time you're willing to put into it and what exactly you want to say. So. Yep. yep. I can. Uh, yeah. I can only add to this that right. We usually we use a lot of Photoshop on especially flash stuff because you're combining stuff, um, putting composition which is on separate shots. But for this it was easy. It was easier than others because of the black background. Right. Usually sure. what takes most time is to clipping out if needed all these little things uh, from the background because we many times cutting the ground away. Here it was black, and basically we were using pieces of the image as is. We got that splash, we just cut it, we put it in place. We got that um, mascara, we put it in place. So it was much faster than, than usually. Right. The shot. Well, you know, when you look at guys, um, whenever you do see photo comp work, um, a lot of the, the masters that you think about, you know, when, when you look into the real conceptual part of this, you've got Misha Gordon, uh, Dominic Roos, um, Jerry Eulisman, those kind of guys. Um, their work was all black and white. It was all right. monotone because monotone is a lot easier to blend and make work uh, than full color. When you get into full color and that kind of stuff, Man, it is just, it's tough just because of all the different uh, tonalities that, that, that flow within, you know, when you look at Misha Gordon, his stuff, sometimes he has a hundred negatives that he's combining into a frame. Now, he does it all old school. It's all masks. It's all everything. Um, but if you had a hundred, just think of having a hundred different negatives in color and trying to get all those tonalities and white balance and everything all together in one frame. Um, it's, it's so hard. It, it really is. So um, monotone uh, does make it a lot easier to get a combined effect. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. So any, any other questions about this shot? I think I covered basically everything. Yeah. Uh, There's yeah. no other chat questions coming through, so. Okay, so we can, I guess we can jump, jump on your shot, right? Yeah, and, uh -huh. and, and, and pardon me, everybody, I don't have nearly uh, the background shots that uh, that Alex has oh, um, on. On, on his right. stuff. You know, right. I've got the finished picture, and I can talk about it. <laughs> Okay, let's. Uh, I have questions for you, so it's very interesting shot. I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna show it to everybody. Okay, so we're talking about this. Do you see it, Dave? It's, oh it's yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, cool. I I see it. This so, this was uh this was a surprise to me. I I'd love to sit here and tell you that that reflection of the hand was totally planned out and it's exactly what I wanted and um, I'm just a geek guru with this stuff and know how to make it happen all the time. Uh, this was shot on a Smith and Victor, and Victor uh, shooting stage, which is a much smaller shooting stage than Alex uses. It's only maybe two and a half feet wide 
Mm -hmm. um, and it's really small, but it's curved the exact same way. If you've ever seen a shooting stage, like this, right? Yeah, it it goes it goes down and then out and then back down again. So you mm -hmm. get this seamless background transition. But luckily, early when I started shooting with it, I found that if you bounce a flash, uh, this was shot with speed lights, by the way, four uh, thirties. Um, I think it was primarily 430 EX2s, or just mm -hmm. EXs at the time. If you take one flash and you bounce it into the curve in the front that comes down, mm -hmm. the light will go back into the subject and create this wonderful reflection that you see in this show. Oh, that's how. Because w what was completely a uh, mystery for me, it, for me it looked like you had this hand, uh, that heart, but like uh, look, uh, like a light was coming through that some table. Yeah. But it, it won't glow table this way. I was thinking, how are you can do it? That it, it was glowing somewhere, like like lights coming between table and the hand. It was amazing. So yeah. It, it, it and and I'd like I again, I'd love to say it was totally planned out and everything, but it was just this oh shit moment. It mm -hmm. was uh, when I I remember shooting that one and then looking at the back of the camera and going. Uh, my hands started shaking when I saw it because right. um, I, I didn't even I didn't even realize what I was doing at that time. It was it was still a. Oh, I think we lost. I I don't hear you. I'm not sure it's only me. Um, oh, you, I I'm back. Know. Yes, I'm back. Okay, good. Um, so it was. Um, I don't know. It was. It, it, I'm always experimenting when I'm working with light. Um, uh, because it's it's there's always something to learn. So I'll just take those little. Uh, that's what I love about speed lights over studio stuff. They're small. They're compact. You can just take them and put them anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes even moving them two inches will mean this radical difference in uh, uh, in what you get. So uh, yeah. So I just put it in the front and got this wonderful reflection off it. 